This is the story of my mother, but also the story of all of us living our hopes and dreams, or maybe just watching time pass us by. I'm Kay, and I am the middle child of my mother's seven children. And yes, she does have 15 grandchildren and one great-grandchild on the way this month, October 2020. This documentation is for her grandchildren and her family and friends to keep up with her progress, but also to document her journey. So join us and support her and her husband as they seek out the ultimate American dream in their season years. They're gonna be doing this with minimal experience and skill, and we're curious and slightly frightened to say the least. She says she's watched a ton of YouTube videos and stocked up on tools, generators, and the like, and ready to live her dream. A day she's been thinking about her whole life and studying and stocking up for the past three years. So on to the adventure through her slog, that is a slideshow photo blog, family responses, and small videos that she sends when she gets the chance. Now keep in mind her cell service and tech skills are very limited, so we'll do the best we can. As we see in these first photos, she has her little makeshift camper tent going on with her husband, and it fell over, she said, the first day because she didn't realize how windy it was going to be. Yes, they have a place to stay in the local town uh, with a friend, but she really wants to be on her land now, at least while the weather is good and it's her first few weeks of freedom from work and drama. She has built a sturdier version of it the next day with OSB. She took a picture from inside, so she's got a nice memory foam mattress and loose down feather blankets and sheets and um, a sleeping bag and is almost getting too hot for her. <laughs> You can also see she started to make some walls for her shed that she's going to be working on putting on the location. And she also has a little makeshift kind of shower kitchen area. She did say on the very first night, the little compost toilet that they made actually blew away and she had to go get it and put it back together, which is hysterical and hilarious when you think about it. But they're learning each day and growing together each day. And she says she's having a blast. Here are some of the reactions from family and friends as we sent comments uh, to show them what she had been working on. Some were amazed, some were shocked, and some were very logical and realistic saying she's probably going to freeze to death. Uh, so it's a variety of responses. We'd like to know what you guys think now that you are watching the video for the first time. Should Granny go back to the city because that's where she's from? Should she continue to stay out where she's at? She's not ready to share her location with you all just yet, but just know she is in the United States um, in the Midwest, West section. You could probably maybe guess and we will get there and be able to give out the location in some time with more subscribers. Um, what do you guys think? And here's some other comments from her this week that she had made in week one about her experiences out there. Um, living off-grid from seeing muskrats to enjoying just the fresh air and the freedom um, for the d and uh, comments on the days that she's not working uh, and realizing uh, that living off-grid and homesteading will have some challenges especially in the beginning uh, when the wind is so windy she wasn't able to kind of use her stove that she had planned to use initially and they had to eat a banana apple and crackers after a day of hard work of tamping and building and all sorts of stuff. So we'll see what things bring next week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and leave some comments below for Granny to encourage her, uh, and I'll definitely send it to her, and that will uh, help her send more pictures and more videos so that we can keep this going and hopefully uh, send her love and uh, some maybe some monetary things down the line uh, with these videos. Take care until week two. Bye-bye.